Hey guys, what's going on? I'm on the boat today with Victor. We're gonna do a little diving, hopefully find some lobsters, and then afterwards we're gonna go fishing. I know there's been a lot of dive videos recently, but it's summer, it's hot, the conditions have been perfect, and it's also lobster season, so you gotta go while you can. I had a lot of positive feedback on that last video. You guys are awesome, so I'm gonna narrate this video again. So let's go see what we can find. So the first fish of the day is this about 13 inch hogfish. Starting on August 24th, 2017, regulations for hogfish will be changing. In the Atlantic, the minimum size will go from 12 to 16 inches and from a five person to a one person bag limit. There will also be a season now from May 1st to October 31st. And the golf side regulations are also changing. They're slightly different. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys wanna check them out. This black and white striped fish with a tall fin on his head is known as a high hat. They're often found in aquariums because they don't grow any bigger than about nine inches. In this spot, I dove down to check out this small pile of empty shells. This is usually a telltale sign to find an octopus. They mainly eat clams, mussels, and whelks, then push the empty shells outside their home. Octopuses are very smart and good at hiding. In less than 0.3 seconds, octopuses can change their color, texture, and shape to blend in with their surroundings. That's probably why I couldn't see this one. These yellow fish with the blue upper body are Spanish hogfish. This guy who did not let me get very close is a blue parrot fish. In this spot, I was swimming down to check out the staghorn coral when I noticed in the corner of my eye about a seven to eight foot nurse shark. They are slow moving bottom dwellers that don't usually bother humans, but they will bite if they're harassed by divers who think that they are docile. I was swimming underwater and I look over and there's a giant nurse shark right next to me. This is a banded butterfly fish. They often are in pairs that may remain together for life. They have very small mouths that they use to pick at the coral to eat. In this school of tangs, I spotted a mutton snapper. They are one of my favorite fish to eat, but they have to be 18 inches to keep. This eel is a spotted moray eel. They are one of the most common eels found in Florida. This eel was being followed by a yellow jack. Jacks sometimes follow eels in hopes of taking advantage of disturbed prey and scraps left behind by the eel. Well, I saw a bunch of different kinds of fish. I didn't see any lobsters, unfortunately, but I hope you guys still enjoyed. Like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.